Lindsay Loon. How you doing? So my family is from two very different places. Um, I'm Jewish and half hillbilly. I'm a Jewbilly. My father's family is from the mountains of North Carolina, and my mother's is from 5,783 years of Jewish suffering. But it's fun being a Jewbilly. Shalom, y'all. I can hunt squirrels and bargains. I've got Jewish guilt and a kind of hillbilly sensibility that pops up at weird times. Like I was at my friend's barbecue. Lots of fun, dogs running around. We were talking inside and her mom comes in, looks down and says, oh, who did this? And there was a little pile of dog poop. And without thinking, I said, not me, not me, not me. And I realized two things. First of all, I secretly worry that people look at me and think, oh yeah, she might shit on my floor. <laughs> and second of all, I threw everyone else in that room under the bus. I was like, not me. I don't know about her. <laughs> Poop, if it's not Jimbo's, it's Lindsay's. Yeah. So, um... I'm a wandering Jew villain. I spent a lot of time overseas, Australia, New Zealand, Japan. And when I lived in Japan, I loved going to the Japanese bath. Does anybody go to the Koreatown baths? A few of you are clean and cultured. Yeah. Or you just like seeing naked people. There's a lot of naked people. Everybody ends up in the bath together. And it's no big deal because everybody's naked. Except in Japan, sometimes I was the only foreigner. So, you know, I'd get a few looks. One day I went in and this little old lady was staring at me. And her eyes were up and down my body like a paint roller. And I glanced over at her and realized she was like 100 years old. But I couldn't help but notice her breasts. They were amazing. Game recognized game, y'all. They were pendulums of history. They were longer than Snoopy's nose. And she came swinging over to me. <laughs> you really are white. I felt seen. And then I spent nine years learning Japanese to tell you all that joke. Commit to the bit. So it really bothers me when people use the word Nazi to mean kind of fussy. You know, like, I'm such a Nazi about arranging my toiletries. Are you? What are you doing in there? Do you have a gas shower? And why is it just Nazis that get point, but like spotlight? You know, like it's never a Rwandan Hutu of grammar or the whole pot of punctuation. Ugh, makes me feisty. <laughs> but I have one person who puts up with me. I have a boyfriend. Y'all can clap, that's hard. That is hard. At least it's hard for us. Yeah. Um, we've been on and off for seven years. And I was thinking, seven years, man, that is so long. And then I realized, wait, it's just one year in dog years. <laughs> I did that math wrong. It's 49 years. In My friends think, you know, it's a dead end relationship. But I don't think it's a dead end relationship. I think it's a cul de sac relationship. It's cozy, you know. I got here through a series of bad turns and wrong decisions. It's going nowhere. Yeah. That's kind of more true than funny. But it is true. Because when it comes to metaphors, I'm kind of a Nazi. Thank you. I'm Lindsay Lennon.